Welcome back to Elden Ring and Cliff Bottom Catacombs. Oftentimes, when I sit down to play, I totally forget where I was at the end of the previous episode, and so when this came up and showed me in Cliff Bottom Catacombs, I was like, oh yeah. Let's go ahead and take a potion here, because we were hurting a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I got this guy here. Who, honestly, I don't remember seeing him being all glowy like that last time. I mean, I imagine he was, but I did not notice it. I wonder if there's any significance to that. If there is, it's lost on me. What are we doing? Well, we're exploring. We uh, used our sword stone key to go in here in the last episode. And we're going to go up, even though I'm pretty sure that there's even there's still places behind us that I haven't explored. But uh, let's go up and see how this works out. Always fun to explore these places. You got to keep your there's a dude up there. You got to keep your eye on the ground, on the ceiling, on the walls. You never know. There could be dudes anywhere. Is my little lamp on? I don't think it is, is it? It might not be a bad idea to equip some daggers to throw at these little jerks here. I've only got one bone dart? If I craft more, will it put some more in there automatically? Bone dart! Let's, uh, let's craft some of these, man. There. I'd like to throw something to this jerk. Because I see you up there. Yeah, get your butt down here. You're not going to jump on me. Oh no, here he comes. He's dead. And I hear footsteps. Yeah, there's a guy right there as well. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Oh, okay. Alright, whatever. Is there anything in this box? No, there is not. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Woo -hoo. Huh. Well, there you go. There's a pressure plate right there. That one I did not notice. It scared me. It startled me. Oh, uh, so somebody reminded me in the comments that a while back when I fought the grafted scion, I got a new shield that we haven't looked at yet. Um... Is this it? The Golden Beast Crest Shield? Yeah, I think this is what we got from him. I think I remember seeing him hold this thing. Shield of a dull gold with a beast engraved as its crest. Lighter than most great shields and subsequently easier to wield. The beast depicted is Sarosh, aged counselor who guides the Goldian, Goldian? Golden Lineage. It has no skill. It has no skill. Um, well, let's take a look at it. That's uh, quite a shield, wouldn't you agree? Oh, let's get a real good close up look at it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But, I mean, it must be heavier than the shield I'm carrying now. It said it's lightweight, but it seems pretty heavy to me. I'm just, just saying. Back to my brass shield, which I'm quite fond of. Give me a little bit of glo grave glove wart. What's gonna happen here? More impage, probably. Ooh, ooh. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. We haven't been down there yet. Huh. There's a lever there. By that statue. Huh. How is it that I haven't been there yet? Interesting. How do I get there? Hmm. Well, I guess, uh... We'll figure it out one of these days if we keep running through here. I guess we'll eventually find our way there. I don't know. Oh, 
Son of a gun. Take that noise elsewhere. Oh, missed him. Olay. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. I hear more footsteps. That's the way we came from, isn't it? All the blood here. That's my blood. Oh, there's a scythe here. Ooh, 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 let's try this. Ow. Uh, well, one of them hit the little dude, but didn't really have the effect that I wanted it to have. Look at this little guy. So we picked up a scythe in here. Take a look at it here in just a moment. We need to pick this up as well. Gray violet scythe. large scythe featuring a long slender blade designed to reap this weapon is capable of rapidly inflicting blood loss while also slipping through an enemy's guard in the hands of a highly dexterous wielder it is capable of striking fear into the heart of any foe its skill is spinning slash skill favored by dexterous warriors slash foes as your body spins additional input allows for a follow-up attack I mean, that is a cool-looking weapon. It really is. The, um... The, the light attack... And the strong attack... Very similar, I feel like. Crouch. I mean, the crouch attack looks kind of the same. There's not very much variety in this. There's no back step. That was kind of cool, though. That was a charged attack. Okay, we got something back here. I don't want to use this weapon. This is not my weapon. Where is my weapon? Oh, now I did not see him. I did not. He got me. Why can't I lock onto him? I can't lock onto this guy. Oh, because I stole this stupid... Get off the screen, menu. Menu. Thank you. That's so strange that he's just sitting there waiting for me. That is really weird. Well, that was nice of him to wait because uh, I was not ready. Look at this guy. Why are you guys being so weird? Somebody behind me? Oh, yep, sure enough. Where did you come from? What's going on here? What happened to this guy? What happened to you, dude? Golden rune level three. And grave glove wart level three. I mean, I thought for sure this was going to be a, a path. Wow. So we've come all this way. Now I have to figure out how to get over there. I don't know how to get over there. Did I miss something on our walk up here? I don't know. Do I just run back? Try to find whatever it is that I may have missed? <laughs> this chair sitting here. So that's the room that we used our stone sword key to get into. This, I don't believe, goes anywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember checking all those walls to see if they were illusory. Did I check these? I don't know, man. Is this what I have to do? Is this my life now? Checking every freaking wall? See if it's illusory? Because that's not the life I want to live. I don't want to live that life. Well, I mean, it looks like I've been here because there's dead dudes here, right? 
So I think that this place that I want to get to is directly above me right now. Yeah, I want to get there. <laughs> How do I get in there? I came from that way. And I guess I could drop down from here and see where it leads me. Or is there a path that I missed in here? I don't think there is. I don't think there is, man. Is this really what I'm supposed to do? Pretty far... Oh, there's a big dude down there, too. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, I don't like this. I'm starting to run out of... Flasks. Let's see if I hit this guy. Okay, he's just going to stand. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to move around. So, I was curious to know if I hit him, would he try to find a way up here? And maybe he is going to try to find a way up here. And if he finds a way up here, well, then we'll know that there's a way down there from up here. What's he doing? Is he just hanging out down there? What is he doing? <laughs> no, he's just going to hang out. Okay. Hmm. Boy, I really don't want to go down there. I really, really don't. I can't believe he didn't hear me. All right, let's get our free backstab. He's got a friend. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, man, if he grabs me, I'm dead. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I was hoping to get a backstab on him, but I didn't. Oh, I do not want to die down here. I do not want to die down here. I do not want to die down here. Oh, dang it. Another one. Okay, that did not do as much damage to him as I would have liked. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm running out of flasks, man. I'm running out of flasks, man. Where's a boy to go? Hefty beast bone. Gotta finish him off. Yeah, I, 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 I guess that the um, trap did uh, hurt him a lot more than I thought it did, because he was he was almost dead. So we know there's at least one more of those dudes down here. Good golly! Huh? Patling pate? Is that the word? I don't know that word. Wonderful. Have I have I even tried to use these yet? Do I even know how to use these? Twisted clay sculpt in the shape of a human head emits a voice that says, Wonderful. A wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an eternal journey. So do I just, like, use this thing? Wonderful. Oh, okay then. Okay, well, there you go. That's what that does. And then I don't think I ever listened to the thank you one, did I? Thank you. Thank 
Thank you. Okay, well, yeah. I guess it's kind of neat, but, uh, don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that. Let's see here. Looking at these walls, they all look exactly the same. Except this one, the, the texture is the opposite. I, um, very nervous. I've only got two flasks left, you know, I mean, I wouldn't mind it if, when I killed one of these big dudes, if my flasks replenished. Sometimes that happens, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, there's a dude here. Is he to the right or to the left? Okay, there's a dude right there. Where's that pressure plate? If I could get to the pressure plate. He's almost standing on it. Yeah, come here, dude. Come here. Dude, come here. We could get him to come here. Ah, oh, crap. Dude, yes, yes, he just... He stepped right on the pressure plate and nothing happened, man! Well, that's a bunch of baloney. So he does not trigger the pressure plate, apparently. Boy, I sure could have used that. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna try to... Kite him back to the pressure plate here. Oh gosh, he's kinda scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, dude. Come on, big daddy. Come on. Oh, gee whiz. He's a lot faster than I thought he was. Come on. Come on, big daddy. Come on. Oh, I hit myself, but... Okay, we got him. Yeah, those... That was effective. That was effective. I'm a little disappointed that I got myself caught in the crossfire there, but... Uh... Didn't seem to hurt me all that much. Hurt him a lot. Still no freaking flasks for me. Huh. There's a ladder in there. <laughs> Look, arrow sticking. That was an arrow sticking on the wall. I don't know if you saw it. interesting. I mean, I feel like I'm hearing footsteps, man. Yep, definitely footsteps. So, see what's waiting for us up here. Okay. Oh! Okay, he's facing the other way. Oh, this is the dude we saw from across the way there. Yes. Here we are. Let's get our free backstab. Oh, crap. Oh, that didn't really hurt him all that much. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, you son of a... Oh, no, you son of a... No, you... No! No! I had to do it, man. I had to. You... Son of a gun. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> God. Well, you know, it's actually not too hard to get back to where we just were. Just have to make sure that I don't shoot myself in the back with this pressure plate around the corner here. But yeah, not too bad. It won't take us long to get back. Just gotta go up this ladder again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Gee whiz, man. Look at these stupid imps up here. Where are you, stupid imps? Damn you, imps. Uh, page ashes. Ashes. 
passion remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of a page. Spirit of a page who traveled at the side of the noble he served, uses a piercing sword and crossbow to defend his master. One becomes a page merely by accident of being born into obscurity. Nothing is asked of ability, talent, or volition. And this guy here, I mean, he requires 81 FP, so you got to you got to think he's pretty good. You know, that's quite a quite a bit of FP. Okay, we need to get over here and pull this lever. This is our real goal here. This is what's going to open up the door to the boss. There's our reward, freaking boss. Okay, where are these dudes? I'm trying to peek around the corner. The body there. Where are these guys? Did they... Did they drop down? Maybe they did. Oh, nope. Well, I heard, heard, footst heard footsteps. Old Fang. I picked up three Old Fangs, and according to this, I've picked those up before. I don't recall Old Fang. Hmm. The crafting material? Old Fang. Found by hunting carnivorous beasts. Well, let's pull the lever and a door somewhere else will open up. Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Well. <laughs> I think... Oh! Never mind. Um... I need to find my way back to the, uh, the side of Lost Grace. That's what I need to do. We need to go back there. We need to replenish. We need to spend these runes, and then we need to go fight this boss at this place. Oh, that's the door. That's where the boss is. Okay, so don't want to go in there right now. We're going to go up here, and we are going to rest... Where is... I was curious. Where is our site? Oh, oh. Oh, we have to go up, uh... That's right, we need to go up here. We've already been there. My apologies if that makes you dizzy. Okay, so we've made it back here. I can't fast travel from this particular spot. Uh, I mean, I've got 8,600 runes. Let's go see if we can't spend these somewhere. Where would I like to spend 8,600 runes? Well, how about if we go um, here to EG and we spend them on smithing stones because he sells smithing stones brave tarnished still don't have that fourth smithing stone level five. Oh, he sells these somber smithing stones that's right um well i mean if i'm ever going to want to upgrade A legendary weapon this is what I need I have 11 of these already I have nine of these I have three of these and three of these so let's uh let's just buy one of these and we'll just buy one of these and that'll leave us with uh, 607 runes oh and I've been told that this is a massive illusory wall oh okay well why don't you just make me regret doing that Okay. I don't need to rest at that side of grace. <sighs> Except for the fact that now that there's an enemy there, I can't fast travel. Eh, jeez. Fine. So if I rest here, will that illusory wall come back? I actually don't know. Uh, looks like a negative. Negative on that. Okay, let's go back to, um... 
Cliff Bottom Catacombs, and we'll see what type of boss awaits us down here. I mean, is it going to be another one of those um, guardian dog things, whatever they're called? Because there's imps here, and they seem to travel with the imps. I love that I have to deal with these guys on my way to a boss. Son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying here? And I got a boss to fight. I don't want to deal with you. Ouch. Yeah, but we get some more grave violet, so that's kind of cool. Makes it all worthwhile, right? All right. Let's see here. Um, so right now, I've got Spirit Jellyfish Ashes and Stormhawk Dean here. I'm gonna think this is gonna be a pretty small arena to fight in. Uh, so let's pick. Um, let's see. Who do I want? Skeletal Militia Man Ashes. Skeletal Bandit Ashes. The Wolves are always a good choice. Imps. I mean, we could try the pages, but I, I don't have enough uh, FP to cast this. I only have 78 and I need 81. You got the Marionette Soldiers. I don't know if I've ever used them before. Let's, let's, uh, let's play with them. Now, I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to use them in here. Maybe I won't be able to. I don't know. I can. Oh, it's one of these guys. Herd tree burial watchdog here. Okay, let's go to get to work here. Look at that. God, the way they move. They creep me out. They're so creepy. Look at all that arrow sticking out of him. Oh, okay, that was dumb. Hey, 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 stop it. Oh, well. Ouch. Oh, there goes one of my dudes. <laughs> I'm not taking this guy seriously at all. No, no, no. You leave him alone. Well, he's dead. <laughs> well, I mean, they did help. Okay, that didn't work. Get serious here. There we go. Gosh, it's so creepy. So creepy the way they move. Uh, Kaiden Cell Sword Ashes? Okay. Kaiden Cell Sword Ashes. What it looks like. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of a Kaiden cell sword, spirit of a mercenary belonging to a horse riding folk. Skillfully uses a massive blade made for dismounting other riders and enhances his already considerable strength with war cries. The cell swords of Kaiden made their prowess known on countless battlefields. And he costs 88 FP, so I can't afford to summon him anyway. Um, I don't even want to know what's going on here. That is disturbing. But our work here is done. Cliff Bottom catacombs have been cleansed. We are going to go here. We're going to exit this place. And then we're going to travel back to a um, site we were at just a moment ago. I'm gonna go back here. Just that way I don't have to go past all those vulgar militia dudes again. And now uh, let's go see what the heck is going on over here. We already talked to this guy before, didn't we? He was the one who talked about puppets. 
Yeah, all the puppets, the puppets besiege us. And there's a little bit of a fight going on over here. Not really sure what to make of this. But it's quite a battle. And uh, everybody here is an enemy. So, um, you know, I could just stay here and watch, but I mean... Yeah, I mean... They are fighting each other and uh, slowly killing each other. Kind of looking like the the I'm gonna call the 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 non-blue guys the guards or knights or whatever. They seem to be winning. Let's oh these guys are these guys um respawning down here. Let's see what happens. Oh 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 okay. Whoa hello. Let's see what do we got here. What's gonna happen? Let's watch this battle. Let's see, oh he's running he's running he's running. Oh, he's coming in. He's a stomping and a swinging and a chopping. <laughs> well, I mean, it looked like the night guard dudes were going to win, but uh, I don't think so anymore. He's killing his own guys, it looks like. Right? Man, we're just standing here getting all kinds of runage. Oh. Oh, he's taking a knee. Oh, look at this. Holy cow, good work, guys. What the hell? How are these two still alive? Oh, what was that sparkly business? That was kind of cool. <laughs> look at this. I'm going to take this. Bolts. Lucerne. That's new. I have to remember to look at that later. Oh, where'd you two come from? Uh, Golden Rune level 6. Where did these two guys come from? <laughs> what else is going on around here? We got another body over here. Uh, crystal darts. Oh, he's down again. Golden Rune level 3. Oh. Killed one of them. No, yeah, I think he did. Another one. <laughs> oh. Well, that might shoot me. No, it didn't. Here goes another one. Well, dude, it's up to you. It's up to you, dude. I should get in here and start wailing on him while he's distracted. Well, that was not well done on my part. Oh, that neither was that. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. I thought this might kill me. goes. Get your butt down, buddy. Oh, I can't get over to his face because this rock is in my way. <laughs> I can't believe this other guy's still alive. Alright. Teamwork. Oh, this is the thanks I get? There, finish you off, jerk. <laughs> that was bizarre. Okay. There we go. Killed a lot of dudes. Uh, we got some items. We got a Lucerne. Lucerne. This pole arm features a hard, sharpened, beak-like spike attached to its head. Designed to pierce armor. Though designed mainly as a thrusting weapon, its long handle can be utilized to get around an enemy's guard with a sideward sweeping attack, and it has the charge forth skill, quickly charge forward with the armament at the hip, carrying the momentum into a thrust hold to cover a greater distance. So that's the strong attack. Here is the light attack. Huh, where's the poking attack? Do I have to be crouched for that? What the... 
how there's no freaking thrust attack with this thing. Alright, well, then I am not interested. No, sir. I am not interested. Uh, I don't like how dark and, um, gloomy it is in here. Don't like it at all. Huh. In fact... I like it so little that I'm gonna get my torch out. I can maybe see. What is this horrible place? Probably wouldn't be this horrible if it wasn't so rainy. Boy, it is just like super dark out here right now. Oh, I hear a... I hear a... Twinkly. I don't see him though. Where are you, man? He might be up on top of this, I don't know. There he is. Huh. Okay then. Well, we got... Somber Smithing Stone level 2, but uh, lost half of our health there. On top of that. What kind of baloney is that? Since when did those guys blow up? It's so freaking dark. Oh, there's a spirit uh, spring here. I guess what those are called. In the world? Oh, there's my marker over there. That's right, I wanted to go there because there's a site over there. Alright, we'll come back to the Spirit Spring, but I think... I think I've already been up here. I don't think I need to take the Spirit Spring, because we've already been up here. Right? Though I don't remember that. Hey, there's some stuff over here I want to pick up. Alright, here's a nice little safe space for us. Let's have a nice rest. this place called gate town bridge uh -huh. wow that's a long way down i mean that that's a long way down man so if we head off in that direction hmm. oh oh yeah i don't like it down there man but Let's go see if there's anything out here for us. I don't think there will be, but let's go take a look. Yeah, we've been here. We've been here. I I've been all through this. I don't need to do this again. That's how I feel about it anyway. The dude, like, looking over there. Look at him. He's standing guard. Check him out. Alright. So. Can I get back this way? I might not be able to get back up here. But I can if I do this. That'll get me back up there. Okay. Now what? Well, now... Let's get this thing off of our map. There's this space over here that I guess we could look at. And really all this space over here, kind of? That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. 
I'm not really expecting to find anything down here. Like I said, I've already been down there. Yeah, I remember I remember going down there. It was not fun the first time. And I do not intend to do it again. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we even um, destroyed that camp when we were here before. Yeah, pretty sure we did. Alright, but... I haven't been over here. Not that I'm really expecting to find anything here, but... Let's go see. Nice view of that hellacious place down there. I don't like it down there, man. Look at this guy. Surprised he didn't squirt at me from down there. I thought that for sure that's what he was going to do. They do like to squirt. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up here for us. That sunlight coming across is so cool, though, wasn't it? Oh, a bear. I mean, I just really don't feel like bears are worth the trouble, but he is... Does look like he's guarding an item, so I guess we'll go fight a bear. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, he knocked me right off my horsey. Oh, oh. Let's just pick this up. Sliver of meat. Okay, that's what that's what was there. I mean, I just uh, oh son of a gun! I'm trying to leave you alone, bear. Oh Jesus, another one! God, gun! I am not interested in fighting you, bear. I'm really not. It'd be so awesome if he fell off the edge. Oh, good God, this is so annoying trying to outrun this. Oh, you son of a... Can I drop off of here or will it kill me? Um, yeah, that's death. Ah. I had enough of your crap, Mr. Bear. I just don't feel like they're worth the effort. They take so long to kill, and the reward really isn't that great. You know, just take more effort than I care to expend. So, we will not be fighting either of those bears. Instead, we will be moving to what I hope will be greener pastures. But... We got this business going on here. Let's take a look at our map. We got this here, uh, Liner Highway North, Purified Ruins. Okay, this is this is where the Light Seeker is. I'm gonna skip ahead here. Skip these guys. This battle that's going on. We don't need to do that again. We've already seen it. Don't need to do it again. And uh, we are going to go to the Light Seeker because I believe. I have uh, an eyeball to give to her, I think. Let's go do that. I think that's right. Did I talk to this guy yet? I don't remember. Hey, dude, what's up? Come out, one and all, from the darkness underground. And let us offer unto the maiden our eyes. Okay, I've definitely not been here. Um, but first, we're going to go over here and offer a grape, a shibiri grape, I think it's what it's called, to this blind woman over here. Hello, I have brought something to you. Hello? Hello. Is someone there? 
Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light, and when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Here, have a grape. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. What? Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. <laughs> no comment. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Uh-huh. Well, we gave her a grape. I think we did. So I guess she's probably going to move on and elsewhere. We will maybe see her again in our journeys. Our journeys through the lands between. Okay, well, we did that. Let's go up to these ruins. We haven't been here. And there may be one of these underground places up here. And I think we're going to have ourselves a fight up here. This is going to be uh, a little bit of work. Hey, dude. Oh, these damn dogs. Okay. Smoldering butterfly. Big scary dude? Generic small dude? Don't know. I don't know, but he knows I'm here. Oh gosh, why am I so nervous about this? this there's something about this place that's making me very uneasy. Uh, maybe just simply because I could hear somebody but not see them. Hey, dude. Wake up. Oh, they didn't like that. Oh, this guy's gonna throw stuff at me. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Oh, he's got a shield like mine. Oh, nice. You picked a bad time to put your shield down, bud. Yeah. Keep those glowy things to yourself, pal. Get a smithing stone from this guy. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, nice move, dog. Oh, he is awake. Oh god, the sound effects are fantastic. Okay. Oh, there is an item over here. I like items. Cuckoo Glintstone. There's a bunch of crap here. Oh, I found the way down. <laughs> well, before we go down, is there anybody else out here that I need to deal with? Kind of looks like no, huh? I break your boxes. Uh, let's go down in a hole. See what's waiting for us down here, man. Oh, oh, what's it gonna be? Items. I like items. Hey, another Shabriri grape. Well, crap. She's going to be gone now, isn't she? Or maybe she's not. Because I haven't rested yet. So maybe she'll still be there. I wonder if I could give her another grape, even though she's standing right there. Two fingers heirloom. Is this a pendant? Two fingers heirloom. Indeed, it is indeed. 
a talisman engraved with the legend of the two fingers, raises faith. Fingers cannot speak, yet these were eloquent. Persistently did they wriggle, spelling out mysteries in the air. Thus did we gain the words, the words of our faith. This raises faith. If I put this on... I mean, I don't see... Let me see. Oh. Faith. 14. Whoa. Raises it a lot. Raises our faith from 9 to 14. That's pretty substantial. Well, if I ever need a little bit more faith, I have that thing now. Let's go see if she's still here and we can give her this Shabriri grape. Oh, I love how bright and sunny it is out here now. Okay, well, you need to start pressing the right buttons, dude, because I don't know what to do with you if you keep pressing the wrong buttons. You still hungry for grapes? You are most yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to give her another the one. Blessing of the fingers be upon you. Yeah, we can't give her another one until she moves on. And we're not going to know where she moves to until we find her. <laughs> Because as much as I would like it if I rested and then we just saw her on the map, that is not how it works. I've been told. Been told. Let's look at the map. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, I... I mean, I th think we came this way, didn't we? I really don't remember. I mean, we've been... Okay, we came... We came down here and then somewhere around here was that dude that pointed... And I followed him on down over here. So we really haven't been on this path. Not that I'm expecting there to be anything there. But uh, we also haven't been here. So let's go back to the artist's shack. Back to the shack. And then... What we will do... Bring up our map. And I'm going to put a marker right here. So that I remember where I want to go in the next episode because this is where this one ends. And I think this is a pretty nice shack to hang out at. So I'm going to hang out here. And I'm going to thank you for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe let me know. You can leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.